Hello, this is Tolo from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can mask out a section of your video that um, needs correcting without having to re-render the whole scene again. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm uh, referring to. And this technique is one that you don't have to learn how to uh, or know how to mask properly, so to speak or use rotoscoping or use um, you know bezier points or anything like that or a clean plate to mask this is just a straightforward technique that you know I was taught thank God I was taught this technique and it helps out quite a bit uh, let me show you what I'm referring to uh, here is a scene that I'm, I'm working on for a uh, I've done for a short movie um, and in this scene let me freeze right here let me pause it here you can see that the subject of the character in the background his arm is showing through his shirt which is not supposed to be that at all it should be uh, his shirt without having any kind of um, showing of his, of his arm at all and this next scene is what I re-rendered uh, with that correction made to his shirt now in this scene you can see that his shirt is pretty much covering his whole arm 100%. Now, the first scene that I just showed you, which is this scene, this took me about uh, about a day and a half to render. And for me to re-render this scene again, it would take me another day and a half, which was, would be pretty much uh, almost like a waste of time. Because that's, that's a lot of time to render a 12-second scene. And this scene, the corrected part of it, this took me just an hour to render so an hour as opposed to an hour, a day and a half that's a pretty big difference and to just render just a section of your video in blender I'm going to show you how to do that if you don't already know how to do it uh, let me open up blender here and what you want to do when you're when you're in blender uh, you press 0 and that goes into camera view you're looking through your scene through your camera and you're going to press shift B and these crosshairs will come up on your cursor hold down and drag on your left mouse button and when you've done that a red triangle will appear now in blender whatever is within this red triangle is what will be recorded uh, and what out is whatever is outside of it will not be rendered or recorded so that's how you can just render a section of your scene without rendering the whole thing over again and for the next part of this tutorial I'm going to just do a walkthrough because I've recorded it like four or five times and I keep pretty much not getting it right uh, so I recorded it a while back so I'm just going to do a talk a walk talk through of what um, of this technique so I'll see you in a little bit okay and we're back and what you want to do is go up to that top window click from the on default to video editing and once you've done that, you're going to click on Add and Add Movie. And you're going to navigate to where you saved your movie. I saved mine in this folder. And I'm going to click on the folder or the file movie clip that needs to be corrected, which is on the first level. I'm going to click Add Again, Movie. And I'm going to choose the movie clip that has been corrected, which is going to be the, so to speak, mask over the... Um, one that needs correcting. I want to set my timeline to match the length of the movie also. And I'm going to click on the first movie clip, the one that's at the top, and change the blend mode from cross to alpha over. Go to the second one, the blend mode from cross to alpha under. Click back on the top movie clip, click on add again, and add an effect strip to it, which is going to be transform, and it's going to match the length of the movie and change the blend mode from that from uh, cross to alpha over also to match the top blend of the movie clip go down the strip input and click on image offset and image crop and I'm going to uh, adjust the top part of that uh, image to take out all that blackness and reveal what's underneath which is the movie clip that needs to be corrected do the same thing with the right aspect of it zoom in, we're going to zoom in and do the same thing to the bottom part of the clip and to the left part of the clip. Now with this, 
a blender seems to move the movie clips around so to fix that go to scroll down and go to strip input and the image offset change that so that it matches or lays over the part of your video that needs to be corrected and you can zoom in so you can get a tighter fit and you keep adjusting it until it fits perfectly over the uh, movie clip that needs to be corrected and that's pretty much it and then you output it by going back to uh, the default um, window for blender and you set the parameters in your output section on the right hand side which I've done in another video and that's how you mask out old sections or sections of your video clip that need to be corrected to input the newer sections um, I hope this was helpful to someone um, and it actually helps you produce your uh, renders a lot faster without ha having to re-render it again and hope this helps someone out so once again this is Tola from Trifle Productions with a uh, masking tutorial in Blender which doesn't involve actual masking so to speak or rotoscoping uh, see you guys on the next one you have a great day alright bye